What's up, Kamenoi Nation? Anyways, enough of that. So, I recently did a video, not recently, but a year or two ago about shit feeder employees here on an everyday basis, which I'll be putting right here. If not, it'll be down in the description bar below. So anyways, that video was about when we work at a theater, what shit we have to hear about all the time. But I'm here to tell you the most awesomest stories and by awesome, I mean the most ridiculous ass stories I ever heard or witnessed at working at this theater. As a former theater employee, I'd like to share you these stories. Back when Halloween 2 came out, which was directed by Rob Zombie, I think. The really shitty Halloweens. The ones that no one cares about. We had Halloween 2 playing, and in the same time we had Post Grad, which was some stupid piece of shit movie. So for this movie, Halloween 2, we had people over at the theater door to check tickets to make sure people don't go in. I was working door. So, along comes these teenagers, a group of like five or six, who all look kind of gothish types. They give themselves away right away. I take their tickets and it says post-grad. I'm just standing there like, rip, giving them their tickets. They go off and they walk past post-grad's door. They keep walking, walking, they disappear because Halloween is way on the other side of the building. Two minutes later, they come back walking out to postgrad and walk in there because they found out that there was people over there. Not literally one minute in, they come back out and just stand there trying to figure out what the fuck they're supposed to do because they already bought the popcorns and drinks. So I'm just standing there looking at them like, just laughing my ass off, and the people over at the doors were laughing their asses off too. It's just one of those times. This one time, when I was at my door section, usually they always give me door. I work door a lot, so I get the best stories. Not the best, but I get to deal with the most of the idiots. This guy comes running up to me, he's like, Sir, sir, I've been sitting in my seat for 20 minutes and the movie still hasn't started. What's going on? I'm getting pissed off. I look at him, it's like, what movie are you watching? He says, The Lovely Bones. I look at him and say, Sir, the movie starts at 10.15. Right now it's 9.30. He goes, Oh, and walks away. When Dear John came out, holy shit. Non-stop, just females all around just dragging their boyfriends to see this. It was quite a sight because the lines would like go from the Feeder doors all the way to the lobby to concession outside the doors to outside the building. That's how bad it was. And if you think Dear John was worse because girlfriends took their, I mean, they dragged their boyfriends to this, Sex in the City took the cake. Like, <laughs> oh my god. This couple uh, were on a double date. These two chicks took their, dragged their boyfriends. I gotta stop saying they took their boyfriends. They dragged their boyfriends. Denied sex, who knows what they did. <laughs> so the chick can't see her ticket, she's all excited to go in. The dude is next and he looks like the most miserable bastard alive. He gives me the tickets like, uh I'm like ripping it. He doesn't go in yet. Gr girlfriend turns around wondering what the hell's going on. He looks at her straight up and says like, I don't wanna see this shit. I really don't wanna see this shit. Girl had to say nothing. The girl didn't say anything. She just gave him this look of... And he just walked in. And she was pretty fine too. So I'm guessing she's a freak in the sack or else he wouldn't have gone. But these dudes were just... Oh my God, they were in horrible pain. One time this lady came out and asked me, Sir, where are happened to Wetzel Pretzel? I told her, Wetzel Pretzel is no more, ma'am. That thing was done long ago. She goes like, but sir, I gotta have my Wetzel pretzel. My husband wants Wetzel pretzel. He needs a Wetzel pretzel. I go like, I say to her, miss, we don't have Wetzel pretzel anymore. All we have in its place is 
Peaks at 73. She keeps on going, but sir, my husband needs Wetzel Pretzel. He needs his Wetzel Pretzel. Shut the fuck up. Oh my God. This went on for like two minutes and she finally went in. I don't know what her deal was with the Wetzel Pretzel. This one time this guy came up to me and gave me his ticket. I was lining it up onto my right. I'm like right here. That line for the feeder, which was number four, is right behind me, but I'm lining them up to the right, and already it's a huge, massive lineup. I tell him, you must line up to the right, because that's where the movie for this line is. He looks at me and says, like, what line? I go, like, that line. He goes, like, why is there a line? Because people are lining up. And he goes, like, what does that have to do with me? It's your movie. So? You just don't need to line up. He was like, why do I need to line up? Because people are be waiting too. And again, he goes like, what does that have to do with me? Oh, jeez. Then some other customer comes along, gives me his ticket. It's for a different feeder. I rip it. He goes like, why did you let that guy in? His ticket is for number six. You're for number four. He looks at me and goes like, fucking liar. And just run, walks away. I once got molested by a cougar. Not a hard looking cougar either. Her front tooth was missing and she smelled of hardcore smoke. She came up to me and said like, honey, honey, where can I go for a smoke? I say, and I, I tell her, all the way to your left outside those doors, you can go outside and smoke. She goes like, oh, thank you, hon. He proceeds to touch my ass and walks away. I need an adult. I seriously need an adult that day. <laughs> If you don't think of the, uh, if you ever seen Futurama, think of that uh, really old nasty bitch that has the dropping boobs, that wears the pink shirt, pink dress, the really nasty looking one. That's what she looked like. Recently started my shifts. Not 20 minutes into it, this guy that we know, who is a constant scammer and likes to get free shit all the time, we call him Paul McCartney. Because he looks like Paul McCartney, but is an absolute asshole. He comes in, goes right straight through me, and I go like, excuse me, sir, I need to see your ticket. He goes like, i already been in. You already seen me go by. You said to go already. I tell him flat out, no, I, I did not. I just started my shift 20 minutes ago. You are the first person I've seen so far. I did not tell you that. Guy walks away, comes back with my manager, then walks away. My manager goes up and he's like, what happened? I go like, he's trying to scam us to try to go in. He goes like, yeah, I knew he was scamming because I asked him like, what movie are you watching? He goes like, dear John, what movie theater? He says number six, wrong. That movie was in number four. So yeah, we knew he was lying from the start. One time I was doing my rounds on the uh, tech town where all the games are. And a couple of people come up to me and say, like, excuse me, this one girl is not letting us use the game. She's been sleeping on there for the last 25 minutes. I go and see what's up. I see this one girl just knocked out on the Need for Speed car racing game. Now I could just tap her on the shoulder and say, excuse me, miss, but you need to leave and let these kids play. But this is me we're talking about. What I did is basically went up to the thing, shake the fucking thing, and I say, excuse me, miss, are you playing this game? She wakes up, it's like, oh, what, what? Yes, I am, I am. Uh, would you like to, uh, no, I'm not, I'm not. Would you like to play this game? And I go like, yes, I would. She goes, oh, okay, and I go like, but excuse me for one second, I'll be right back. I walk away, never do go back. I'm at door, it's right next to a Burger King kiosk where people can just buy Burger King and it's right near me so I can easily see when people are trying to sneak in from the when they're trying to go underneath the Burger King line this one kid thought he was all slick and shit because he went up there bought some fries got his fries and quickly went underneath the rope I tell him excuse me guy do you have your ticket he goes like uh no can I buy one off you I go like, no, you can't. You gotta buy one off those guys over there. He was like, oh, okay. Runs away. Never see him again.
This one time, this one lady in a black coat kept on walk, trying to sneak in, trying to be all sneaky and shit. First time she tried to sneak in, I go like, excuse me, what are you doing? She goes like, oh, sorry. Five minutes later, she comes back walking, trying to walk in. I tell her, excuse me, do you have your ticket? She goes like, oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Third time when there was like a couple of people around me, she like make a quick, she quickly makes a dash inside and I turn around and I go like, hey, lady in black. She turns around and goes all flabbergasted. It's like, what, huh, what? And she walks out again. A very drunk native comes up to me and says like, oh, excuse me, brother. Oh, I'm looking for my friend. Can you let me in so I can go find him? I go like, no, what's your friend's name? He goes like, oh, actually, I'm looking for my uh, girlfriend. She's in there. Can I go in to look for her? I go like, no, what's your girlfriend's name? He goes like, oh, I'm looking for uh, something. Can I go in? And I just look at him like, no. And he just walks away. Two girls come up to me and say, excuse me, we're looking for our friend. Can we go in? I go like, no, you need a ticket to go in. Meanwhile, a coworker of mine who's off duty, in regular clothes, who I was like talking to, just chilling. He turns around and looks him straight in the eye and says like, in other words, he doesn't buy your crap. And they just leave. So while I'm at work, whenever I'm bored, I tend to sing some Disney songs around my coworkers. And it's a normal thing because I like to goof around. So this one time, I'm just singing a song to Little Mermaid. He's like, under here is wetter, better here is better, better than me under the sea. I'm getting into it. I'm starting to sing all the lines because it's a good song. I like the song. Who doesn't like the song? And then all of a sudden I turn around and who do I see? Two middle-aged women who are just flabbergasted. They're just staring at me and like, and then they begin to start laughing and just walk away. I'm like, nearly face palm myself. And I'm like, oh fuck. But that was a good time. <laughs> Women dressing up all fancy and shit to go watch Sex in the City 2. Weirdest sight ever. Who are you gonna meet in a dark room besides other women and gay guys and possibly cheaters? This couple in their 50s comes up to me and asks me, What is the A-Team about? I tell them, it's based on the TV show, The A-Team. They look at me and go like, TV show? I go, it starred Mr. T? They look at me. Mr. T? I'm bewildered at this moment. I go like, did you not watch Mr. T when you were growing up? Look at each other and shrug off and just walk away. Okay. This couple came up to me with Vampire Sucks tickets. And it's in 3D. And I tell them, like, you need 3D glasses to watch this. They go like, oh no, we're on mushrooms. We'll make this shit 3D. And they just walk away. One time at Dora, when it was very, very busy in a mad ass rush, I forgot some new movie just came out. Everybody is in concession buying shit and miles from here, all the way around. Some random dude just started randomly dancing out of nowhere. My one of my managers walks up to him, whispers into his ears. The guy stops, puts his head down like that, and just walks away. Cool. This one time, this one guy comes up to me, it's like all distraught and shit because his girlfriend passed out and goes like, Oh, sir, you need to call the ambulance right away. My girlfriend just passed out, blah, blah, blah. He's like freaking out and shit. People are all around us. Don't know what to do. I'm calling managers left and right. So much shit going on. One of my workers comes up to me and goes like, What happened to that lady? She go, I go like, I tell him she just passed out. He looks at her and says, Oh, and then looks at me and goes like, She's hot though. And I look at him and like, not the time, dude. I look back at the girl. I look back at my coworker. I go like, but you're right. He laughs, walks away. I kind of laugh a bit. It's true. She was kind of hot. I think she survived. I don't know. She got taken to the hospital. One time, this new person had to quit her job because her mother came in and like bitched that she hours were too long and to quit on the spot. Shift ends at 11. A little ginger kid of six years old was drinking a Fruitopia one day right in front of me, just standing there like... <laughs> I'm just kind of getting freaked out a bit. She keeps on staring. She finally goes in to watch the movie Unstoppable. When the movie comes out, everybody's walking out. I don't see her ever again. I don't know if she ever came out. It scared the hell out of me.
One thing that annoyed me is whenever I was working at door, people would just come to me and say like, hey, hey, I'm gonna go get some food. Remember me, all right? And just walk, like, walk away. I don't, I'm not gonna remember you. This is drive-by shoulder tapping. I'm not gonna remember you at all. And then they get mad at me for not remembering them when there's like a thousand other people showing up. This one guy goes like, hey man, how can you not remember a black guy with an afro going in? And I go like, there's a lot of black guys with afros walking in. He goes, good point. And my final story, when Twilight came out, oh, fucking God. Jesus, I regretted working those days. And go, oh my God. So, when the first Twilight came out, this father, of course, fucking pubescent girls are dying to see this shit. It's basically sold out and shit, is what I can say. So, this one father comes along and says like, excuse me, I'm here to drop him off my kid for Twilight. Can you tell me what this movie's about? I go like, oh, oh, you shouldn't have asked me that. So basically I go like, sir, it's a movie that has pedophilia, necrophilia, and bestiality all in one. It's true if you think about it. He looks at me and goes, are you serious? I go like, yup. He looks at his daughter and goes like, you are banned from watching Twilight or reading Twilight ever again after this movie. Daughter freaks out and goes like, no, daddy, no. Oh, I just found that hilarious. But anyways, that's all my stories I can think about. Take it easy, human nation. Bye.